In Imperial Valley Winner Take All Softball Showdown. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Gross. For the first time ever, two Imperial Valley League softball teams met in the CIF Division Championship game. Holtville and Calexico went toe to toe in La Jolla Saturday afternoon with a trip to the state tournament on the line. A gloomy day at the UC San Diego campus with a full crowd on hand. The Imperial Valley League champion Holtville Vikings looking for a title postseason revenge against Desert League champ Calexico. Callie Strom in the circle for the Vikes. Andrea Lopez leading out for the Dogs. First pitch of the game is going to be chopped to third. Or Sophie Arungarai will field it and fire over to Annalise Gutierrez at first for the game's first out. Strom would set Calexico down in order to get things rolling. Fast forward to the top of the second. Leah Valdez leading off and poking this one into the right center field gap. She's rolling in with a leadoff double. Then Victoria Viejo capitalizing a soft line up the middle past the outstretched glove of Brooke Strom. And into center field, Valdez comes in to score to get the dogs on the board first with one run lead. Valeria Ruiz tossing for Clexico, but it would be no shutout no longer thanks to the bat of Cameron Walker who lifts one deep. I like her, I like her a lot. It is gone. The junior ties the score up at one in the bottom of the third. Top four we go. Calexico responds. Chanel Gascon answering the call and Shorty goes long over the center field wall. Bulldogs retake the lead at 2-1. Dynamite comes in small packages. Fast forward to the top of the fifth. Dogs threatening with Alyssa Galaviz on second, Jacqueline Martinez on first, and it's Fernanda Cano coming through. Clutch with the ripper through the left side. Galaviz chugging around third and stumbling into home. Dogs up 3-1, and they'd never look back. Bottom of five, Holtville with a golden chance. 2-1, two 2-1. On, two Brooks Strom bounces it to the right side, but it's going to be Cano getting dirty lane for the amazing play to end the inning and saving the lead to the bottom of the seventh. Holtville's final chance. Cameron Walker again rips one deep just over the head of Andrea Lopez to the wall. Melissa Lopez coming around third. She's going to make it a 4-2 game. Walker's going to be picked off second. It's a huge out for Calexico that leads to this. The final out of the game. Brooke Strom bounces out to Cano to Martinez. That's the clincher. Calexico celebrates her first CIF title since 2016. They advance to play in the CIF South Region State Tournament. We hear from the winning team after the emotional victory. Uh, so many mixed emotions. I can't even describe how I'm feeling because this doesn't, it doesn't feel real. <laughs> but um, it's something extremely special. There's no such thing as I. And that vision that we created early on, they made sure they sought that through. It was their dream too. This team, this team is very tough. They're always coming at it. They're never giving up. So I feel like that was more momentum towards us to go for it. And we're, we were more hungry. Calexico now moves on to the CIF South Region State Tournament where they have drawn a number eight seed. Yeah, that's right. The Desert League champion and the CIF San Diego Section Division Three champs garner number eight seed out of eight teams in the South Regional. The Bulldogs will be in El Cajon tomorrow to face the top-seeded Granite Hills Eagles. The Eagles enter the state playoffs as the CIF Division II champions. First pitch later for 4 o'clock from Granite Hills High School. I'll be there and bring you a full recap tomorrow at 6.